Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Derek. Today we're going to be looking at VPC peering. And VPC peering is helpful if you have different VPCs. Maybe you have one in one region and one in another region or one in one account and or in this case two in one account and then one in another separate account. Uh, and you want these VPCs, you know, to be able to talk to each other, right? So the resources within them can communicate for whatever reason. So the way you would do that is you would set up what's called a peering connection. All right, so a peering connection is a one-to-one -one connection that you use to connect uh, two VPCs to one another, okay? So as you can see here, we have a VPC1, which has some instances over here, let's call it account one. And we have VPC3 that's in a different account and it also has some instances and there's a peering connection set up that's allowing VPC 1 and 3 to communicate with each other. All right, but there's also VPC 2 over here in account 1 uh, that is also paired or peered rather to VPC 3. Uh, but again, this peering connection between 2 and 3 only applies to 2 and 3. Okay, this one only applies to 1 and 3. This one only applies to 2 and 3. And if you have a lot of VPCs that you're trying to connect, then this gets a little tedious trying to manage uh, all of these connections, uh, even though the process is relatively simple as we'll see today. Uh, you know, it still takes a little bit of work, uh, especially again, if you have a lot, you just have to manage all these different individual connections. So it might be more beneficial to use something like Transit Hub where it uses that spoken wheel model that we've talked about before. Right? Uh, but Let's just say that, you know, we've got a couple different uh, VPCs here that we need to connect, okay? And you can see here that there's quite a few scenarios in which you could connect different VPCs. So maybe you have some in the same account in the same region. Maybe you have some in the same account and different regions, different accounts, same region, different accounts, and different regions. So there's all sorts of scenarios that you could experiment with, you know, peering your VPCs if you're kind of into that network side. Uh, but what we are going to do today is we're actually just going to do a peering connection between VPCs in the same account and different regions. Okay. So I'm going to drag that off to the side and then we're going to get in here to the console. And right now we are in the VPC console. And as you can see here, I am in the North Virginia region. Okay. Which is US East one. And I've got, uh, two VPCs. One is my VPC, which is one I have created. And this one is the default that comes with the region from AWS. But if we switch our regions real quick to, let's say, US West 1 instead of US East 1, you'll see that uh, I have uh, no custom VPCs. There's just the default one. Okay. So let's just go ahead real quick and just create a VPC. We'll just say VPC only. So we'll just say US West West 1 VPC. And we're pretty much just going to leave a lot of these as the defaults. Except for this because you need to make sure that your IP addresses on your VPCs do not overlap. Otherwise, the peering connection will immediately fail. Okay, so on my other one in US East, it is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. So I'm just going to come over here and uh, I'm actually using this pretty cool uh, tool, by the way, called cider.xyz if uh, you ever want to play around with like cider blocks. So what you could basically do is you could like say, oh, what if I want to change this to like, uh, you know, 24. Oh, well then now it only has 256 IP addresses in that range versus like 26. Now it has 64 versus 16. Now it has 65,000. So it's a pretty cool tool uh, for feature reference for you. Uh, but let me just uh, let's say, okay, so let's just say uh, 12.101.0.0 slash 24. So that should not give us any kind of uh, IP overlap. All right. And we can just leave all the rest of the things at the default. So we'll hit create VPC. All right. So now it says we have successfully created a US West 1 VPC. All right. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to go back to US East 1. So let's assume this is the primary. Uh, it's interesting. 
Uh, okay, that was weird. Anyways, uh, so let's just assume that I want to initiate the um, uh, request from this account. So this would be the trusting account versus the one in USS West would be the trusted account. Right? And what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, just uh, come up here and select that. And uh, I'm actually going to come down here to Peering Connection so we can see 05BB is the idea of the VPC we want. So I'm going to create Peering Connection. We'll just call this uh, Lab uh, PX, and that's how it's going to be abbreviated. You know, when you go start make associating it to route tables, is PX. So Lab Peering Connection, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, if I want to connect to like a local VPC, then I could. Maybe I want I had another VPC in US East, I could do that. Uh, but we want to actually do that VPC in US West 1, which is in my account, it's just in another region. So I'm going to select another region. I'm going to go to US West 1. And then we're also going to need the VPC ID uh, of you know that acceptor, right? The trusted account. So what we need to do is let's just say right click here, open a new tab. Let's just go grab that VPC ID real quick. So let's actually switch over to US West 1 here. And now let's go to our VPC console. And let's go to VPCs. And we can see that, okay, here is our VPC ID. So if I just uh, go down here and then I just click that to copy that, I'm going to come here, I'm going to say, okay, boom, there's the VPC ID of the one in USS, US West 1. If you wanted to give some kind of peering connection name or tag here to this connection, you could do that. We don't need to do that. So I'm going to hit create. Uh, oh, we need to also put in the, uh, yeah, that makes sense. So the ID of our local one, and you can see there, that uh, that is how uh, it's going to basically tell us that's the cider block for that one. And as I mentioned earlier, it can't, uh, the VPC in US West 1, so this one down here, cannot overlap with this VPC. Okay. So uh, we can now click Create Peering Connection. And it says that uh, VPC Peering Connection PCX, so PCX Peering Connection, has been requested. So it's now saying that I need to change my region to US West 1 to accept this peering connection. All right. So what I need to do now is I'm going to come in here to US West 1. I'm going to go to peering connections. And you can see now that this one has pending acceptance. Okay. So I'm going to uh, accept or select that rather. And then it says down here, you can accept or reject this connection using the actions menu. And it gives me, it looks like about a week to accept or reject the request. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna say actions, accept request. And it's just saying, are you sure you wanna accept it? So it's coming from this VPC, which is the one in US East 1, uh, f you know, from my account, they're both in my account. So it's the same account ID. And it's just saying that, you know, US West 1, this is the VPC that's going to be accepting uh, the request. Okay. So I'm going to say accept request. And now it's going to be provisioning our connection, right? So it's spinning up our connection. And it's active. It didn't take long at all, right? So we didn't have overlapping IP addresses. And it looks good. So now, if we had resources in this VPC, you could then associate them to go out and communicate that by adding a route in the route tables. All right, so to just kind of give you an idea of what that looks like, if we say modify my route tables now, uh, let's just say that we want to, uh, you know, maybe modify this one. So let's go to routes, edit routes, add route. And if we uh, want to basically just accept all traffic from this VPC uh, to our uh, peering connection, which is right here, that would be fine with me because we just want all traffic from this account to be able to go and hit that peering request 
or appearing connection rather. So I'm gonna hit save changes. And there we go. So now we have our traffic uh, pointing to our uh, uh, peering connection that is pointing to our other VPC in the other region. All right, so that is how you create a peering connection. All right, and you would alternatively need to, of course, do the same thing in US East 1. I would need to uh, come through here and update you know, my route tables. Uh, in this VPC, in this region, to then point to that other uh, uh, VPC via the subnet or uh, via the peering connection. So if I were to come in here, hit routes, edit routes, add route, traffic from anywhere to a peering connection, and there it is. So it's the same peering connection, okay? Same peering connection, 04BB, but it's just going the other way, right? And then if I had save changes, boom. So now what we have is we've got a, let's just say connection between, uh, if we just say this is the same account but different regions. So we've got VPC1, which is in the US East region, via peering connection communicating with VPC3, which is in a different region, okay? So it's very helpful when, again, you need to have your VPCs communicate with each other. Maybe you've got, you know, this VPC is more for like your compute resources. Maybe this VPC is more for like your storage resources. You want to separate them, but they need to communicate. That is how you would do it with a peering connection, okay? So, uh, hopefully that is helpful. Let's just uh, quickly go through and just get rid of some things here to just clean up so we don't have things just lingering that we don't need. So we're going to go ahead and remove that, save changes. We'll come to the other uh, route table here, remove that, save changes. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to peering connections. We're going to select this one here. And we're going to say delete peering connection. We're going to say delete. And it says that I have successfully deleted that connection. All right. So and as you can see here, even though we're in the other region, it says delete it as well. So it deletes it on both ends for you. All right. So that is how you create, configure, and delete peering connections to connect VPCs. Again, you could connect VPCs across different accounts, different regions, or even within the same account and region if you wanted to, but it's very useful to get your VPCs to communicate with each other. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful, and we will see you in the next lab.